Hello, my name is David Withers uh, and I'm the Managing Director of Izeki here in the UK. So we're continuing our series of virtual demonstration videos uh, that we shoot in this paddock uh, near my house with a member of my household driving the camera. And whilst these coronavirus um, restrictions have been lifted somewhat and we are now able to actually come out and do demonstrations at your facility. We've had a lot of people who've enjoyed the videos and have asked for me to continue doing them with other products that we have in our range. So what have we got here today? Today we've got our smallest machine actually. This is the SRA 800 brush cutter. And what might you use a brush cutter for? Well, a lot of common uses would be areas that have got away from you. If you've got areas that you'd like to maintain, but they're full of brambles and uh, thistles and stuff like that, and you want to knock that down, this machine will be able to do that for you. Also ideal for maintaining paths, because it's really nice and narrow, ideal for footpaths in woods, through National Trust properties, areas like that, uh, a machine like this will be perfect. It's also really good on slopes. And so if you've got areas that are a little bit slopey and where traction is a challenge, uh, a machine like this can do that very well. So we're going to look at it in a little bit more detail and we'll start with the engine. So to get out the engine, I have to unscrew this knob here. And then actually this whole panel just moves off and I can pop that on the floor down there. So what we have here is a 16 horsepower Kawasaki uh, V-twin engine very easily accessible as you can see. Uh, this is where you pop the oil in if you need to add oil to the engine, hydrostatic oil, you can see the battery here. So access to the whole machine uh, and the engine area is really, really good. To close it back up, I simply pop the this screen back in, put that in place, and then I screw this in place. And there we are, we're back, ready to work again. So as on all of the Izeki products, we color code the levers to make it easier for you uh, to learn what they all do uh, when you're driving the machine. So anything with an orange lever is to do with the traction circuit, the forward movement or the stopping of the machine. Anything yellow is to do with the deck and the power takeoff. So let's have a look at the orange levers first. So in fact, we have two methods for driving this machine forwards and backwards. You can see here, we've got a hydrostatic pedal treadle here, forwards, obviously if I press it forwards, we go forwards. If I push it backwards, it goes backwards. But I can also control it with my hand using this lever here. So you can use hand control or foot control for driving that hydrostatic. This is the throttle, tick over and full revs is here. And then over here, this is simply the parking brake. I press the brake down and I pull the little lever down. That locks in place. That's the parking brake engaged. If I want to release it, I simply press down and it comes up like that. The final orange lever is this one here. And if I pull that back and lock it in place like that, that's actually locked the differential. So the rear differential is now both wheels will be spinning together rather than the differential working in its normal way. So that's kind of the orange levers. So the yellow levers, as I said, are to do with the control of the deck. And you can see all the numbers here. That's the various heights of cut that we can set the deck to. So to set the height of cut, I move it across. I keep it across to this side, move it up or down as I, as I wish to get the height of cut that I want. Once I'm in the right place, it will spring back over there and now it's locked in place. So at that point, we're at about a 50 or 60 millimeter height of cut. Once you've got it set at the height of cut you want, you simply throw this over centre lever forwards. Now the machine, uh, the, PT, the PTO is engaged and the deck will be spinning. To turn it off, I simply spring that back, lift the deck up and put it into that position. Final uh, instrument panel that we've got at the front here, we've got a fuel gauge so you can see how much fuel you've got. It's about a 14 litre tank, which gives you quite a good run time. And then a nice big uh, filler cap there, so as you're pouring petrol in, it's not too bad. Key to start, our meter underneath and the choke, because obviously this is a petrol machine that we've got running there. And the final thing is an oil-like indicator there, which will tell you if your oil pressure is getting low. Really simple, clear, easy to use, easy to understand, well laid out instrument panel. One of the other nice little features we've got on this machine here Obviously the deck gets quite messy and dirty because it's interfacing with all that material as it's mowing through. So what we have here is, a, you just see a little pipe there, a little uh, pipe sticking out. If we just push a hose onto that, hold that on there, have somebody sit on it, run the machine, and that will in essence pressure wash uh, the deck underneath there, get it all really clean and nice. 
So I've talked you through some of the features that there are uh, on the SRA800, and we talked a little bit about the kind of application. So as you can see here, I'm in amongst some uh, cow parsley, some thistles. Uh, this is pretty extreme what I've got going on here. It's taller than me. So we're going to make a couple of passes here, uh, and we'll see how the machine copes with this kind of, uh, kind of an environment. So we'll just jump on. Again, I don't need a seat belt because this is not a ROPS, this is just an operator's platform. So we'll start up, take the handbrake off. Okay, we're gonna rub it up. Okay, so let's just see how we get on cutting through this kind of stuff. Uh, and we I'm not going that fast because we are processing a lot of material as you can see here. Uh, we just basically if I can knock it over with the machine then it will cut it. Uh, so let's just turn around here at the end. So that was a, uh, you kind of heard a different noise there. That was a big stick we knocked over. So let's just carry on doing another couple of passes here. And uh, so this is ideal if you've got areas that have kind of got away from you and you're trying to get them back under control again. Nice little machine like this does a brilliant job of just getting it under control. And then you can maintain it more, maybe with something else going forwards. But you want to get it under control to begin with, to just knock it all down. And I think this kind of shows pretty clearly that even a little guy like this can just cope with this, no problem at all. So just make this final pass, and then we'll have a look at what we've left behind. Just sort of pull it over here. So I'm going to park it up there, put the handbrake on and turn it off. Just jump off. So I think you can see here, we've just demolished that area in about a minute or so, made three or four passes there and completely knocked it down. So I'm going to clear the rest of this area so we get it down to how we want it to be. that was pretty amazing really um, we kind of cleared this whole area it took about five or six minutes obviously we speeded it up because you wouldn't want to watch me doing that whole thing able to get in and out of these trees really easily maneuverability was great and I actually barely made the engine cough at all going through this really heavy stuff thistles stinging nettles brambles cow parsley quite an extreme area here that we've just cleared in a very very short period of time it's an amazingly powerful machine so I'm going to run this along uh, beside the lake here, just mowing through this area. Um, and you should be able to see how we kind of hang on a, a bank here and come through. And uh, I'm just mowing along here. I'm going to come up the edge there just to show you the kind of traction that the machine has got. I haven't got diff lock on. I mentioned before that it has got a diff lock button on it, uh, but I haven't got that on. Uh, but now you can just see, I'm just coming up here, not trying particularly hard, and I'm through that area. So one of the really great things about this product is it's really narrow. So we've only got an 800 millimeter deck. So if you want access through just a normal gateway, we're gonna get through there absolutely no problem at all. And you can see here, we've got an area running alongside the, the uh, lake where uh, it's pretty narrow between the fence and uh, the trees. And so you'll see here how I can just run straight along here, getting through those narrow areas. Well, what an amazing little machine that was. I mean, uh, the, the performance there, going through the bramble and the cow parsley and that area was really staggering that it could go through there with really no problem at all. The reason it can do that, we've got a big heavy blade under there, just a single blade with swinging tips at the end. So if it hits anything hard, the swinging tips just push out of the way so they don't get damaged. 
the blade itself is really heavy and we get this big momentum going and so it can cope with uh, even that heavy material that you saw there. Really is an amazing machine and for the quality of it and the features and the benefits that you get with a machine like this, it really is incredibly great value as well. Incredibly well priced machine. I won't say the price because it will make the video uh, go out of date, but it really is very, very good value for what, uh, for what the machine will do. So as ever, we've really enjoyed uh, making this video and been amazed at the performance of the machine. Don't forget, if you've got an Izeki product and you're looking for parts or service or any kind of support, our dealers are open. They've maintained their workshops and parts departments all the way through this lockdown and are starting now as it's easing to get their sales guys back out there as well. So if you need a demonstration of an Izeki product, uh, please just contact your local dealer. They're there for you and they can deliver machinery, deliver parts, deliver service in a safe and responsible manner all the way through this crisis. So. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We've certainly enjoyed making it and I hope you will stay safe.